What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I have better lighting. Oh yeah. So, the holidays are fast approaching and for me, that means going back to Florida with my parents, spending a couple weeks there with them, and also doing some gigs there with my friend Kyle. Today's video is five things that are always in my gig bag, no matter what. Let's go. So up first, strings. I have two sets here as you can see. Diodario NYXL 10 to 46 gauge strings and Ernie Ball Burly Slinky 11 to 52 gauge strings. These have been on my last pop for the past week. Here's my last Paul with the Ernie Ball 11 to 52 gauge strings, top wrapped as you can see like Joe Bonamassa, making them feel like 10 and a halfs. Strings you can never have enough of, which is why they're always extras in my gig bag. Let's go to number two. Number two, good quality cables. And that for me means Mogami 2524 gold cables with no trick ends. I even also label which side goes to the guitar and which side goes to the amp. Why? Because both sides do sound different. So, guitar end, amp end. Let's go to number three. Number three, a toolkit and I use the Cruise Tools Toolkit. I've had it for years now, and whenever my guitar's in the gig bag, this is always in it. Has all the tools to do a perfect setup on your guitar, which is amazing, and I also throw in there a syringe of Big Ben's Nut Sauce, because since I play Les Paul, this duplicates the nut of the Les Paul perfectly, so my strings don't go out of tune. Let's check out number four. Number four, I think it's pretty odd what it is. It's your number one guitar. It's your number one guitar for a reason. And if you're like me currently taking only one guitar for the trip, why not take your most versatile guitar and the one that you know the best? And for me, that's my last Paul. Let's check out number five. So number five, also known as the most important one on this list, is your gig bag. And for me, it's my Fender Incase John Mayer gig bag. Look, it fits my Les Paul, my Strat, my PRS perfectly inside. And even more important, it flies perfectly in the overhead compartment of a plane with no issues. So, gig bags for the win. All right guys, that's today's video on what's in my gig bag slash what gig bag do I actually use. Hope you enjoyed the video and in the comments below, let me know what's in your gig bag and do you use a gig bag or do you use a hard shell case? Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.